Okay, so I've set up uh, Prussia's Glory 2. Um, this is the Battle of Prague. I have to say, I'm not at all comfortable with the rules. And even figuring out whether I had the setup right was a chore. Um, basically, they give you these... Uh, spaces on the map, these color-coded things that tell you that's where you set up your pieces. But then they also give you uh, a suggested setup, not a historical one so much. I mean, this covers the historical as a more balanced one that allows you to be flexible. Uh, their historical setup has the wrong counters, uh, which is to say there are a couple that are not included uh, there's a couple of counters that there are counters for that have hexes in the battle game uh, on the Austrian side, at least. The Prussian side, uh, actually everything went in place that's supposed to be. There's some reserves. But on the Austrian side, there's a couple of uh, units that didn't seem to have the right space recorded. I faked it and put it somewhere. It was also hard to tell exactly whether or not these were legal placements according to the rules. It's not... It's very confusing. I figure out what they, figured out what they meant. Uh, second issue, the map. Nice, big, meaty counters that fully cover the hexes and make it hard to see what's in them. Bad design choice. Almost a third, maybe, yeah, about a third of the map is covered with charts. You don't need this. Um, the rules are not terribly clear. Like I said, I'm not sure that I understand the game very well at all. However, it looks like there's a fantastic game under here. Uh, it has some really exciting features. Final issue. This is all without playing. Um, but the box and the blurb about the game... Uh, let me let me actually read what it says. Well, I'll read it later because I can't get the box out without screwing things up. But both seem to indicate some kind of uh, similarity with the old uh, Quadra games by SPI. Well, yeah, in the sense that some of the Quadra games covered this war, <laughs> parts of the Seven Years' War. Uh, I think one of them did, I'm not sure. Um, and maybe a little bit in the sense that it's a straight I go, you go type setup. <sighs> There's no firing except by artillery. But these are very complex rules. The kind of person who won it, those Quadra games, is not the person who wants this game. And for me, reading that, I almost didn't buy the game because of it. In fact, the first two times I looked at it, I said no. It wasn't until it got on sale and I was trying to figure out just what I wanted to pay for. Um, not just on sale, but on double sale, as it were. Uh, and I was trying to convince myself, do I want to get one of the higher-priced games at half price, or let me just grab two more uh, of, of these sale games while they're really cheap and still available. Well... I'm kind of glad I got this, although, again, the rules have been a bitch. Uh, I've spent a few days trying to read them, and I'm just not feeling like I'm getting them. All right, uh, that's it for now. Uh, maybe I should explain a little bit of the situation. Uh, we got the Austrian line deployed, or Austrian army deployed, uh, awaiting a, a Prussian advance. The Prussian army is all in column. That's up to the player's option. But historically what happened was there was an attempt at an outflank to the east. What actually happened was, let me see if I can find him, Brown, uh, Charles pretty much just sat there watching, Brown took command of uh, a couple of wings and threw them in and prevented a total destruction of the Austrian army. Weird thing about the victory conditions, it looks to me like if you can get the Austrians off the map, they win. Uh, they only win a marginal victory, but 
that's pretty good. Um, there's penalties if you hide in Prague itself with the Austrians because the Prussians can't actually enter it because it's fortified. Uh, but there's no penalties for just running, so I'm a little iffy about that. <laughs> because both things seem like they have about the same effect, except that you are somewhat um, in danger while you're running, I guess. I wanted to play with uh, the optional concealed units rules. Uh, there's sort of two stages to the game. One before the armies act, or before both armies activate and one after, when the actual battle starts. And one of the scenarios for each, for each scenario, there's one thing that's a battle scenario, and then there's the main game scenario. The main game scenario allows you to explore a little bit more interesting stuff. For example, I can try this out flank rather than have it set up in, in advance. Uh, for the game itself, some of the scenarios are purely a historical, but I believe each map uses a, a is used in at least one historical scenario. Some of the options use counters, as far as I can tell. This is just a guess, and there's no real indication in the rules, from other scenarios. Uh, <laughs> but it looks to me like the base games are all using the counter set from the sheet that they're on. Anyway, uh, we're going to give this a try. I know I'm going to screw some things up, because this is, as I said, there's some very weird stuff going on in the rules, and they're poorly written, and at least in my opinion, and I don't think I'm going to do a very good job of this, but I think with some practice, it's going to be a very interesting game, other than the damn hexes that I can't see. All right.